We begin, though, with more fallout over that high school wrestler forced to cut his hair before a wrestling match. Outrage over a decision that many are calling outright racist. ABC's Adrian Banker joins us now, and Adrian, an investigation is now underway. That's right, Amy. Good morning to you. A spokesperson with the New Jersey State Interscholastic Athletic Association says all groups and teams have agreed not to assign this referee to any event until further notice. This morning, there's mounting outrage over this video taken at a New Jersey wrestling match. It shows high school junior Andrew Johnson getting his dreadlocks cut off just before competing. The referee allegedly tells Johnson he would forfeit the match if he didn't submit to the haircut. The young wrestler appears visibly upset as his locks are shorn. A teammate is seen trying to console him. Now the state's Division of Civil Rights is launching an investigation. The video has created a firestorm on social media. Many call the episode racist. Oscar-nominated director Ava DuVernay tweets, to watch this young man's ordeal wrecked me. New Jersey's governor also weighing in, saying he was deeply disturbed, adding, no student should have to needlessly choose between his or her identity and playing sports. Olympic wrestling gold medalist Jordan Burroughs says that referees are supposed to meet with both teams about an hour before the competition. He checks each wrestler on each team to make sure that they're in accordance with whatever rules would apply when they're out there on the mat. And so for him to allow for this wrestler to come to the mat and have his hair cut mat side is something that I've never seen before. According to the school district superintendent, the referee decided Johnson's hair length and headgear violated regulations. That referee, Alan Maloney, has been benched while state officials investigate the matter. On Facebook, the teen's mother writes, he is good now, but that was brutal, emotionally and physically. In the end, Johnson won his match in overtime. Now, according to a report by the per, uh, Cur Courier Post, Maloney made racial comments toward an African-American referee back in 2016, though Maloney told the paper he did not remember using the offensive word, but believed the accounts of witnesses who told him he said it. The video of this young man having his hair cut has been viewed around 12 wow. million times. It is times. hard to watch and hard to imagine there wasn't another option. All right, Adrian, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.